Right, I just finished painting these coal bolts for a game of Horde of the Dragon Queen and I was halfway through basting them up using sand. So I thought, well, I'll do a little video and show you how I use sand to, to base my minis and give you a few tips uh, you can use when basing your own minis. Right, let's crack on. Now, the reason I use uh, sand sometimes when basing my minis is, let's get a focus on there, uh, that it works, it's effective, it's cheap, and it's quick. Uh, the only downside about using sand is you do have to paint sand. You know, only someone who um, paints miniatures will paint sand to look like sand. But the reason you do that is uh, if you put it on straight away, flat, uh, without giving it a dry brush and maybe a wash down, is it, it looks too real. And it's a, there's a real difference between the sand and the mini. It, it just stands out as looking too real. So uh, I'm going to show you what I do and how I do that. Okay. Now, first of all, grab a, one that hasn't been uh, basted yet with sand. Now what you need to do is get your sand. Now I use, move this out of the way, just beach sand. Okay, you can pick this up when you go to the beach. You only need a little sack full. This will last you forever. Okay, you can use builder's sand, but you don't get the sort of texture you get from the sand from the beach. You need to make sure it's dry. And you need, let's move this out of the way, a little tub or a little pot to put the sand in. Okay. Now, first up, you need to get some super glue. I use super glue. Some people use PVA, but I find with PVA, uh, it takes a long time to dry. Um, it kind of slips around as well. It's, it, it's runnier. You don't get it in the places that you want it to go. Also, we can peel off too. You know, you've, we've all had PVA on hands and, and peeled it off with super glue. It kind of, is, well, especially with the viscous super glue, it stays where you put it. It dries very quickly and it bonds to, to the, the base and the mini very well. Um, so you don't have to, you know, you're not worried about it peeling off a little bit later. So what I use is this high viscous super glue. You can get it from anywhere in the UK, really. Amazon, uh, tool shed, tool station, not tool shed. And you need a little pokey tool. Now what you need for this is this, I used a cotton bud. I trim one end off at an angle. And the reason I use this is once you've got the super glue on, you can push it into the little holes and little gaps quite easily. Okay, so first up, let's get some uh, let's get some super glue down. Now I'm probably going to speed through this just so I don't bore you to death. Right now, put the super glue down onto the base. Now I have to work quickly here. I'm just going to make sure that it's covering the base evenly, that it's on all the uh, areas that I want the sand to cover. And then it's, you know, it doesn't have to be too even, but it does have to be everywhere you want it to be because coming back afterwards and trying to put some on is going to be a nightmare. Now, next, get your sand. Let's move him out of the way for a second. Now, put a couple of pinches of sand into a little pot. I'll take this off screen to do that. Okay, I've got some sand in here. You want to make sure there's enough there to cover the base of the mini. Put it down into one corner, put your mini into the other, and then just lob it on. Yeah, shake it over it, make sure the base is all covered. And that should be now in all the areas that you want it to be. Again, if it's not quite covered, just chuck it over again. Spin him round. Okay, right, and there we go. That's the initial job done. Now I just want to leave that to uh, to dry, not very long at all, just for a few seconds. You could at this point when it's still a bit wet, if you've got any sort of excess around the sides, around the base here, when it's still fairly dry, wet, sorry, not dry, you can skim a bit off. But this can come off easily later as well. You don't have to worry too much about that. Spinning round. All right, that's all good. As you can see there, it's got in between his legs. It's around the back. Got a little bit of clumping here, but that's nothing. Scrape that off, that's not a problem. Come on, get off. There we go. Right, I'm gonna give that a few seconds to dry. And then we'll move on to uh, putting a little dry brush over the top of that sand. Now what I'm gonna use uh, is uh, so I've got some Reaper Master Series HD paint here. It's uh, Elven Flesh. 
And I want to use like a, a light creamy sandy colour because I'm going to use a dark brown um, anthrax earth shade as a wash afterwards. So it won't come out looking like that but it'll be a lower tone of that. So I'm going to use a nice flat brush. I'm going to speed through this. I'm going to use my Elven Flesh just to dry brush all of this. Um, before I do that, I normally use a nice little uh, fluffy brush just to dust off any uh, excess sand that's not quite stuck down because as you're giving it a dry brush, the last thing you want is uh, for the loose sand to get caught up on your paints and stuck to your brush. So I'm not going to bore you, I'm going to whiz through it. Right now I've finished giving it a light dry brush. Hopefully what you can see now that there's a more uniform sort of colour to the sand. There we go. There's still some of the original colour of the sand in there and you haven't lost any of the texture which is what you really want from the sand. There we go. Now what you're going to do, what I'm going to do over the top of that is just put a light coating of a wash of anthrax earth shade. Now what you can do if you want to be very clever on this is depending on how much of the earth shade or the wash that you put in certain areas you can create shadows. But this is just this is just a game piece. Um, it doesn't need to be too detailed. So I'm going to give it a, a wash over now. I'm going to whiz through it of uh, anthrax earth shade so you can see uh, how it comes up. Right, let's crack on. Okay, that's the uh, the dry brush and the wash done. Let's have a little zoom in there so you can see. There we go. So you can see it's kept some of the colour of the uh, the sand. The light dry brush of uh, Elf and Flesh has helped give it a, a sort of a more uniform colour and brought it into the sort of tones and colours that are used on the mini. So it's it's less natural, but that that's what we want. And the wash has kind of helped bring out some of the detail, uh, clearer and crisper. There we go. So I'm going to set this little guy down to dry for a while. Let's put him over here. Now you can, let me just show you. Now this is sand that hasn't been dry brushed and just has a wash put down onto it. Now it looks fine, it looks great. But when you start sort of comparing that to a mini, from my eye, it kind of uh, it looks too real, and it kind of shows the sort of juxtaposition between the sand and the mini. What you want to do is make the sand look artificial almost. Okay, and when that's drying at the back, there, I'll also show you this little test piece that I've done. So you can compare. Okay, now this, I don't know if you will be able to see or won't. It's probably hard to tell in this kind of light. Let me get a good focus on there for you. Now this is in quarters. Now this bottom half here, I've used a brown wash. And on this top half here, I've used a black wash. On the right hand, left hand side, in this quarter here, I've used a white, very light white dry brush and put a black onto it. And on this side here, I've used the Elven Flesh and put the black onto it. Now on the bottom, this is, uh, this is what I've done today. This is the Elven Flesh with the brown wash. And on the right hand, left hand side here is a white with a brown wash. Okay, so you can see kind of the different styles and different highlights that you can get from using different washes in combination with different colors. And you can use that as a test piece to hold up to your minis and work out what you really want to go for. Again, once you've got it to this stage, you can use do another dry brush to pick out the highlights, but this is just for a table game. So, um, you know, I'm going to leave it at this kind of this kind of level. Right. Let's crack on to the next stage. Now this piece, let me move this out of the way, is starting to dry. I'm going to weight the mini down. Now, I do this with um, quite a few of my minis, especially the plastic ones. As you can see, let me find one that isn't weighted. Here we go and compare it to one that is. The one that isn't weighted, it sounds better, it's heavier on the table, you're less likely to knock it over. Here we go, see? This just feels light and doesn't have that weight um, that gives it that sort of good quality feel when you're moving it around the table and holding it in your hand. 
That's easy to do. All you need is a penny, it's the cheap as you can get. I'll show you how I do that. You take a penny. Again, super glue. Super glue is your friend. Big dollop of super glue on there. Don't be shy. Take your mini. Place it down. Squash it. Slide it off the table. Hang on a sec. There we go. Squash it down. Hold it in place for a few seconds. And that should stick. There you go. And that'll give your mini a better quality, a better feel, more weight. It's less likely to get knocked over and it feels nice when you move it around the table. Okay, uh, the next stage, the next part I'm going to do is to add a nice little lip, lip of colour to your base. Now that'll give it, that'll make it look sharper. It'll get rid of any of the uh, little scuffs and any paint marks or any sand dust marks that you've had from uh, basing your mini. And also, depending on uh, the colour you use, you can use it to uh, make your mini really pop. Okay, let's take our guy. Put him onto the holder here. Now, I'm going to whiz through this and fast forward. I'm using Solid Blue, which is a uh, Reaper HD paint. I'm going to whiz through this, don't bore you. Uh, should only take a few seconds. Right now, hopefully, as you can see, let's zoom in there. That's the base done. Putting a little rim around him just makes it look sharper, cleaner, better. Now the wash still isn't completely dry, so it's a bit shiny. So what I'm going to do is take him off and show you one that is finished. Come here, Come on, there we go. Let's uh, let's go for you number two. There we go, so you get a nice uniform colour. And what you don't notice, or hopefully don't notice, is that when you stick a plastic mini or any sort of mini to a base, you've got that sort of lip between the mini and the base. And that kind of distracts, you know, it's obvious then you've got a mini stuck onto a base rather than the base being, you know, part of the figure as a whole. But when you put sand on, what you can achieve is, you know, that kind of, the base is less apparent. The gap or the drop is less apparent and hopefully you haven't even noticed it at all. As you can see, some of these have got numbers on. Yeah, one, two, three. If you've got loads of figures and you're playing a game, it just helps distinguish between, you know, which piece you're doing. So when you're doing your, your hit points and you're, you know, attacking, you can work out which one it is and it's just very clear and easy to pick between pieces. It's just a little tip that, um, that I picked up that I use. I just put one on the back and a number on the front. I don't sort of like plaster it completely, that would just look a bit silly. But it just helps you to sort of distinguish between which one's attacking, which one's fighting. It helps you to keep your hit points, helps you to keep your score. And it looks really good, you know. Weight your minis down with a penny. Always, you know, paint around the base, it gets rid of any dirt marks. And chucking sand on helps sort of kind of get rid of that gap between the base and your mini and help brings it all together. Right, I hope you found that useful uh, and helpful. And, uh, you know, check the rest of my videos. Like and subscribe if it's useful for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.